Cardinals fly east to Mason, Ohio for the Cross Country National Championships. NCC the favorite in the 32-team field, but they'll need to knock off Grant Winthizer and 2013 champion St. Olaf. Final race of Ryan Root's NCC Cross Country career. At the gun, Cardinals blast off in the center of the crowd. Root and Aaron Sabat leading the red and white to start this one. 280 total runners in the field. Two kilometers in, Washu's Andrew Paget leads. Cardinal Travis Morrison close behind in fourth. Sabat holding steady in 12th, Ryan Root nearby in 24th place. To the 4K mark, Wisconsin Platteville's Ian Lemire has grabbed the lead. Morrison now 8th, Sabat 13th. St. Olaf in great position, 5 runners in the top 42 spots. For NCC, Root down to 32, Tim Vasquez 56th, and Zach Plankton 69th place. Moving ahead 5K mark, Morrison still sticking with that top group, leading NCC in 6th place. Sabat not far behind, still at 13. San Olaf continues with five runners poised to put up great times. Root still third for NCC in 40th place, Plank moves up to 61, Vasquez at 66, and Troy Kelleher in the picture at 68. As the runners reach the final kilometer, Winthizer holds a slight edge over Colin Cotton from Williams. Morrison and Sabat now at 7th and 13th place. Support waiting for NCC at the finish line, but the individual crown will go to Winthizer, who wraps up his title run with a time of 23-44-9. Morrison claims 7th at 24-3-4. Sabat also brings home All-American honors at 12th place. Olaf's Paul Escher takes 14th at 24-19-7. Plank and Kelleher come in at 44-46 and 46 for North Central, followed by Philip Meyer from St. Olaf. Ryan Root reaches the finish at about 25 minutes flat to take the 58th spot and finish the NCC scoring. Cardinals Ben Dikshinsky and Vasquez round things out at 74 and 79. And the final St. Olaf score comes from Jake Brown who finishes at 116. After a few moments of trepidation, the Cardinals learn they have just captured the national championship, the 16th for the XC program and head coach Al Karius. Sabat and Morrison enter the storied list of All-Americans at North Central College, receiving their medals in the post-race ceremonies. Winthizer, the individual champion, joins those two on the stage, but the Cardinals get to rejoice with their new trophy to end the afternoon. One of the things we talked about uh, yesterday, ironically, is competitive response. And uh, it's something in sports psychology to say what, what happens in the first, you know, five seconds after something happens, how you respond in the first five seconds after something happens will have an influence on the outcome. It was really muddy out there. All the turns were sloppy. You know, we had some guys go down. We had, uh, you know, I bet a bunch of other people went down during the race too. But it, we've, we've stressed that we need to be patient. We need to be confident in every race, no matter the conditions. So we just went out there today and took care of our business. So I didn't know why we seemed to be losing ground early on in that race, but it's because three people fell down. But their ability to stay focused and come back into the race again is um, the reason that we did so well because uh, they, they were coming on the last, the last uh, uh, mile and a half of that race very, very strongly. It wasn't going to be given to us. Last year I think we may have thought that. And this year we knew we were still going to have to fight even though we had such depth. Um, and I was able to step up in the position that I was able to. Um, we all kind of switched a lot, uh, but you know this was this was nationals. Today was nationals, and uh, you know that's that's the role that we had today. And it, we never really were set in roles, uh, and I think that was one of the things uh, that helped us along this year was that we didn't care who was where and where we were. We wanted to make sure all seven were together. St. Olaf is a great program. They've got a great team. They had, you know, a tremendous competitive performance out there today. They had three people, I believe, in the top 14, something like that. And uh, so it's a real tribute to their program to uh, to win the national championship as they did last year as the best you know team in the NCAA Division three last year and to come back and battle as as strongly as they did again this year it's tough it's tough to repeat and I thought they did a, a fabulous job of coming back and and really making it a, a very competitive day Al has nothing he 
he doesn't care about the numbers. We just, we want to go out there and he prepares us the best we can for the national championships and we look forward to it every year. And I think that's a huge, uh, huge bonus compared to other teams in the country that are worried about regionals. They're worried about making it out. And from day one, we're looking at nationals because he prepares us for it. This whole season, we've talked about how every race is the same. Every race is the national championship. So today wasn't much different uh, mentality wise as it has been the rest of the year. Um, you know, obviously very excited, uh, very anxious. There wasn't, I wasn't nervous. I was very confident in all of the other guys that I got to line up next to, um, which is awesome. And the trust that we built throughout the entire year uh, has been amazing. So today was just another one for the books. It was uh, uh, synergized and, and uh, the glue was the team feeling that they had for one another. And, and they were out there not running for themselves individually. Had we run for ourselves individually, we would not have won. They were running for their teammates and, uh, and their alums and the, and the tradition in the program. So it was a, a, a great, great feeling and it never gets old, believe me. Amanda Cortez and the NCC women's team up next. Johns Hopkins, a dangerous team leading the field in the women's championship. Cardinals ranked 19th heading into Saturday. Senior Nora Ferguson in front of the Cardinal group to start it off. 280 more runners take to a course that's already worn from the earlier men's race. Amy Reagan from the Stevens Institute leads after two kilometers. As the larger crowd funnels through the turn, Ferguson and Megan Costanzo sit at 89th and 91st place. Cortez is 113th and later on Caitlin Zumpf and Emily Trent come into the picture at 176 and 177. Reagan continues to lead at the 3K mark. WashU's Lucy Cheadle is next in line, followed by MIT's Sarah Quinn and Ruth Stanky from Carleton. Entering the final kilometer of the course, Reagan and Cheadle are stride for stride. Wheaton's Emma Schunk putting together a great race in sixth place right now. Ferguson makes another jump forward to 77th place with Costanzo a few steps back in 81st. Cortez moves into the top 100. Reagan builds a late lead and finishes nearly seven seconds ahead of Cheadle to take the individual championship. Cheadle earns runner-up honors, Shunk finishes strong in fifth. Costanzo and Ferguson cross at almost the exact same moment for North Central and finish at spots 81 and 82. Cortez ends up in 96th place and Cardinals Allison, Hartman and Zumpf round out the NCC score. Hartman in 206th, Zumpf at 241st. Amy Rattuno finishes later at 251, Trent crosses at 256. North Central finishes 20th with a team score of 539 points. This wraps up NCC cross-country careers for Ferguson and Zump. Shunk brings home an All-American medal for the Thunder. Reagan gets to revel in her individual championship after a 20-51-9 run. Johns Hopkins posts a total score of 87 and takes home the team title. Lesson learned for us on a day like this, learning to get out there, staying out there, and still having the persistence and resiliency to be in the thick of it. Uh, and we had someone describe this, this type of race years ago. You are going for all 6,000 meters. You're going the whole time. And that's one of the things where you really want to, you need this kind of experience to learn that. It's definitely a learning experience. Um, it was pretty, it was really rough at the start. And then it was rough going down that downhill and trying to keep composure because you were just slipping and sliding. But I think for the most part, we, we got that under our belt and now we can learn how to fight through that for any other race. I think it's definitely a good building block for them, you know, especially coming off of last year. There's momentum with the team and now that, you know, cross country you bring 10 girls to the team, um, they all have national experience now, so they can use that and they can build off of that going into track season and it's just that consistent mentality that I think is starting to be embedded in them. We were already, if you would, field tested in the sense that we were ready to make a lineup change. Uh, it was a hard, hard decision to make, but the reality is, first thing she says, you know, I, I don't think I'm able to contribute to the team the way I should. Um, and she knew exactly what we had to do and uh, Emily stepped up, Allison stepped up, Amy uh, stepped up, so we had, uh, you know, we really had some ladies step up and I'll tell you, uh, it was nice to have the 10 that we have uh, representing North Central College. We had a girl race from every class, this, and that's huge. That's starting a tradition. We're bringing back, we're only losing two people um, out of our top 10. And that's, a, that's a huge deal. I think we, if we can manage to work on staying healthy and staying um, together and working, moving up, we have so, so much potential for next year.